Today we are taking you to a 1950s style drive-in restaurant that is family owned and founded over 65 years ago. They serve burgers with local grass-fed beef, fish and chips, Dungeness crab sandwiches with grilled sourdough, milkshakes with seasonal options like pumpkin spice and candy cane and more. <laughs> Hello, Hello darlings. darlings! Greetings from Washington State. It is mid-December, so happy early Merry Christmas. Today we're gonna be eating at a drive-in burger shop. Now this was made in like the 1950s and they have multiple locations. It's called Burger Master. So as you can see, people just park here and someone's gonna come to our car and take our order. And we have menus every couple feet. It's Tuesday, a little past noon, and there's quite a bit of cars here, even though it's the weekday. On weekends, it gets busy. And around the main parking area, there's additional parking on the sides, and those get full too on the weekends. And people drive in their vintage cars, and man, I'm not like really into cars, but I gotta say, the cars they bring in, oh, they're sexy. Like, wow. So it's kind of like a mini car show while you dine here on the weekends. And by the way, in case you guys are wondering, Mamio has new sunglasses. Uh, that is from Glasses USA. So you also got some reading glasses. Very nice. And what's on your head? <laughs> My head? It's an upside down elf. <laughs> it got stuck on Mamio's head. <laughs> I've been here two or three times. I discovered this place in the summertime actually. I was just driving by and I was like, whoa, what's that? I tried the Burger Master, the classic burger before, and they have um, salads as well. Some are grilled on sourdough. We have fish and chicken and a bunch of milkshakes. About the milkshakes, you can order the ones that are listed on the menu, but you can also do a combo. So last time I did a vanilla and mint combo. Oh. I did half and half and that was pretty good. It looks like they have two seasonal milkshakes, the pumpkin spice and the candy cane shake. That sounds interesting. I feel like I should order the candy cane or the pumpkin spice just because it's the Christmas season. They also have mini combos. Oh, and they also have hot apple pie. Order it with cinnamon sauce. So there's a lot of things I wanna show you guys, but if we order too much, we're not gonna be able to finish it. And the thing with like burgers and fries and such, you gotta eat it like right after it comes out because after like a couple hours, it's past its prime, you know? Things get soggy. So what we could do is come back again tomorrow or a couple days and order more food and give you more of a review. So mommy oh, oh she's gonna get the burger master with fries and what kind of milkshake? Uh, I like uh, butterscotch and uh, peanut butter. Oh that sounds very rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a mini mushroom burger because a milkshake can be very filling and I get a small fry. And uh, for fries, we can get onion ring. What is Tom and Jerry? I love Tom and Jerry comic shows. Oh, under What's... the milkshake, uh -huh. there is a flavor called Tom and Jerry? Mm -hmm. it... Let's ask Google. Yeah, let's it's a variant of eggnog with brandy and rum. I changed my Mina because uh, Tom and Jerry has a rum inside. <laughs> I'm gonna have Tom and Jerry milkshake. As for me, I'm gonna get the pumpkin spice milkshake. And then for dessert, let's get some hot apple pie. Hot apple pie. Yeah. Okay. Maybe with cinnamon sauce or a la mode. Ooh, a la mode. Okay, <laughs> a la mode it is. <laughs> okay, now let's put our car lights on so they could come and take our order. Um, because of COVID times, we're gonna need to wear a mask. When you order my burger, uh, I like white cheese instead of American cheese. Alright, so it turns out that the Tom and Jerry, it does not have rum in it. So mommy oh, was like, nah, forget about that. Uh, hold on, she, our um, waitress came back. Here we are, sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, let me <laughs> sign you. that. Yeah, so mommy oh decided to get the peanut butter 
and butterscotch combo. My mini mushroom burger combo, um, it doesn't have to be a 16 ounce size. I got 12 ounce instead because 16 ounce, yeah, I couldn't finish it last time. I just refrigerated that. That one you can keep it in the fridge and enjoy it throughout the day or whatever the next day. Hello! Thank you! Have a good one. You too! Oh, it smells, it smells so, so good! good. <sighs> oh, it is tantalizing. Wow. I think that smell, is it coming from the onion ring? This is Mamiyo's 16 ounce. This is my 12 ounce. So, size, comparison. Can you see? Look at that, the pumpkin spice. So much powder. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. Okay, we gotta make some space here. Uh, yeah, let's put the milkshakes in there. Oh, I think it's the onion rings. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Oh. I can't wait. Woo, let's have it right now. <laughs> Normally, we don't eat like this every day because it'll be too much for our bodies, but it's a treat. Do you hear that? Oh, there's some good stuff. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Does it come with the sauce? Yeah, Actually, we don't even need the sauce. It's pretty good as it is. Mm -hmm. All right, now we have the fries served in a cup. Did a fry just fall down? No. Oh, you know what we like to do? Dip the fries in the milkshake. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. We like dipping fries in ice cream too. I mean, it's potato y, but it pales in comparison to the onion rings. We should have ate the fries first because <laughs> the <laughs> onion ring is better. <laughs> this one's a far more subtle crunch, while the onion rings are like a hard, firm crunch. This one we need sauce. Yeah, uh, let's just say for ice cream and uh, the milkshake dipping. Okay. Alrighty. Is this your burger or my burger? Mm. Oh, you know what? This is look mini. Yeah, I think this is yours. I just dropped the fry in here. <laughs> a fry went through this crevice. I probably won't see that fry until like years later <laughs> when I'm doing like a deep thorough cleaning of my car. Yeah, something. I can't reach it. I don't know where it went. Let's show everybody the size difference of a mini and a, a regular. Mama burger, mini burger. <laughs> so let's show the front. Oh, it's sliding. Never mind. <laughs> so once again, this is the Burger Master. Normally it has American cheese, you know, the orange yellow one. We got the tomatoes, some lettuce, and the grass-fed patty. As for mine, we got some mushroom in there. Now, what kind of mushroom is it? Is it portobello? I guess maybe this is meat. And then there's, okay, here we go. There we have the mushrooms. Oh, actually, I didn't read it carefully. The font is smaller. The mini mushroom burger, it says underneath it, small patty with mushrooms. Okay, it didn't say mushroom patty. Let's dive in. Mm -hmm. Burger meat is not greasy. It tastes like a clean burger. Yeah. Which I like. That's a good thing. Real burger eater, they put some uh, fries or onion rings inside. Oh, real burger eater? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Do you want to try my burger? I feel like our burgers are going to taste similar. But we'll try each other's. Oh, actually, yours has um, tomato and mine doesn't. Mmm! Yours is juicier. It has more sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, yours is more exciting. Mm -hmm. Because I have bigger, bigger patty. Tomatoes. So, I prefer the Burger Master, the classic burger. How about you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. But this is good, too. <laughs> My hat fell off. I mean, if you like mushrooms, this is good, too, but 
So you said earlier that uh, Burger Pros put fries in their burger. <laughs> did what you make that you? up? Are you joking? No, I saw them many <laughs> times. Oh, where? Big burger guy. <laughs> you know the fries in uh, in the burger. Well, pro or not, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I think it'll make it taste even more savory and yummy. Complexify the flavor. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. I've never heard anyone say complexify, but hey, let's add more words to the dictionary. <laughs> I mean, it tastes more French fry, so it tastes good. All right, so let's try the milkshakes. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. So this is, my... this is Mommy O's. It's I thick. Suck it. <laughs> oh, it's so thick, she can't suck it. Yeah, no problem, no. there's nothing coming up! <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's oh, so thick! Okay, she's just pulling it out. Okay, there we go. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. You, do you feel the butterscotch at all? Peanut butter, no. Oh, okay, the peanut butter dominates. So maybe like... Yeah, butterscotch. Okay, now you're feeling it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, did you like splatter something? Or am I seeing things? Peanut. Yeah, definitely peanut butter. You know, just because you say like 50-50 on something doesn't mean you taste both flavors equally. I think maybe like for you to feel the butterscotch equally, yeah. you might yeah. need to get like 25% peanut butter or something. And then 75% butterscotch. It is good. Yeah, it's very thick though. Mm. Okay, my turn. Pumpkin spice. Actually, I think this is thick too. My cheeks hurt. <laughs> but it came up. It's good, but um, the one Mommy O has is sweeter, so I don't feel it as much. This one, the pumpkin spice, I taste it when I have a sip with the powder on the top, but otherwise, I don't really feel the pumpkinness. I feel pumpkinness. Really? Yeah. Man, I'm getting thirsty. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Okay, well, here's the thing it doesn't taste too sweet, but because there is a lot of sugar in it, it's like makes you thirsty. So, time to dip. Mamio is gonna dip the fry in her milkshake. This is something we used to do when I was a kid. <laughs> so tradition, family tradition. Mm. Very good. <laughs> very, very good. Are you guys like that too? Do you dip your fries in milkshakes and ice cream? This time, let's dip the fries into my milkshake. Mmm. You know what? I'm really glad they sprinkled a lot of that pumpkin spice powder on the top because that way, like when you lift your straw up and you pick it up, it grabs some of that powder. Mmm. Even more delicious that way. As opposed to just like slurping it and getting only the uh, main body. Yeah. Ooh. The milkshake is good. But at the same time, you know that like lemony smell of like cleaners? Pine salt? Pine salt, yeah. yeah pine it's salt? like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never ate pine salt, but you know that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Confess me, Nina, you try. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, we've been eating a lot in my car because we're doing these food tours. And we're starting to think we should get like a blanket napkin. <laughs> because a napkin is like too small, right? But like it, it, your food can get all over the car. Like when you eat, something can splatter, right? If we had like a food blanket and just cover the whole area, mm. that would be perfect. And I have another onion ring. Oh, and we gotta get our apple pie. Mm -hmm. A la mode. I'm gonna finish my burger. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Here we have our hot apple pie. It's too big. Very soft. <laughs> very, very soft. Whoa, that's even sweeter than the milkshake. Most of apple pie I see layered of thin sliced apple. But this one is like applesauce apple pie. Mm. I like it though. Mm. I like it. Okay. And we're gonna add ice cream to it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, we have this ice cream. Where's ice cream? <laughs> oh man, this might be too powerful. Okay, a little bit ice cream. Yeah, we're not gonna dump that whole ice cream onto the pie. That'll be all too mighty. Do you see the kind of irony of adding ice cream to something called a hot apple pie because the ice cream is cold? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sweet times sweet yeah. is sweet squared. <laughs> that is the equation of this situation. We need to dip fries into ice cream, don't forget it. <laughs> no, mommy oh, you can do that. I'm pretty much done. <laughs> I can do that. I am full. I am sweeted out. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for a walk now. Mmm, good. Walk sounds really good. No, dessert is good. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were agreeing with me that the walk sounds good, but you're talking about dessert. I mean dessert. I'm a dessert person. Wow. Typically when people have dessert, they have it after a meal. But because that dessert is so sweet, I need to go back to something savory. <laughs> <laughs> Eat some fries. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and checking out Burger Master. Um, I got a feeling we might come back tomorrow. So this is not the real ending, potentially. I like it. What's your favorite thing you ate today? I like my burger. I like this. Oh, you like the milkshake the most? Yeah. I liked the onion rings the most. But onion rings, if that came with tartar sauce, I think that would have been like the ultimate thing. So thick. So thick. Oh, so thick. Look, mommy will barely drink any of it because it's so thick. I think you need to use a, a spoon. No, I will keep this in refrigerator overnight. And when we come back here tomorrow, we don't need it. <laughs> You're gonna bring it back. Yeah, I will bring it here. <laughs> Let's Let's see. Me too. How the texture uh, change. Okay? <laughs> okay. Mm. Mine melted a little bit, so now it's smoother. Not as thick. I'm gonna edit this video and then we'll come back here tomorrow. Good afternoon. It is day two. We are back at Burger Master. Mommy o changed her outfit and now she has glowing <laughs> lights and a reindeer hat. <laughs> I'm thinking to get the candy cane milkshake, but what about Mommy o? Uh, I have one day old peanut butter and butterscotch milkshake. <laughs> it's from yesterday. <laughs> Our fish and chips just came and it is super fishy. The smell is woohoo. Okay, so Mamio brought a napkin blanket. Sometimes we use this for like a food photo shoot. Good. So excited! It's blinking. So the more excited Mamio is, the more it's gonna blink. <laughs> Very thin, huh? $12.59, and that's without tax. <laughs> Must be a local Dungeness crab. I gotta say though, it is beautifully toasted into a golden color. And here we have the fish and chips with the onion rings and tartar sauce and let's sprinkle on some of the lemon oh just kidding this is coleslaw mm -hmm. oh we got three packets of tartar sauce so the candy cane milkshake has actual pieces of candy cane right on the top Ooh. oh it's hot oh my finger <laughs> Cheers! Merry Christmas! Alright, mommy, you dipped it in the tartar sauce. Mmm. Oh. 
savory, a little bit tangy because of that lemon. I'm gonna try it with the tartar sauce. Do you like it with or without tartar sauce? With. The fish is savory and yummy in a mild way without the sauce. But with the sauce, that's when it feels more like a party in the mouth. How about of tartar sauce? You know, when I eat fish and chips, I feel like there's an ocean nearby. For dipping, I like malted vinegar than tartar sauce. Under the sauce list, I only see ketchup, tartar, barbecue, ranch, and honey mustard. Hey, onion ring, we meet again. <laughs> Mina. <laughs> so, so <laughs> which do you like more, onion ring or the fish? Fish. Oh, so you guys, the fish and chips originally comes with the fries, but we wanted the onion rings instead. Uh, this place is definitely more expensive than McDonald's, but they do source their ingredients like locally, you know, like the beef patty that is grass fed and local. So the quality of the ingredients probably is one of the reasons why it's more expensive. And I don't know about the other Burger Master locations, but this place, all the servers we've had have been friendly. So what about that candy cane milkshake? I like this more than the pumpkin spice. Mm. This shake is friendlier than yesterday to me. <laughs> oh, is it easier to suck on? Mm -hmm. Still peanut buttery, just like yesterday. Yeah, this is sweeter than this one. How do you like this? Oh yeah, that, that's making me real thirsty. This is so festive. Mm. Christmas in your mouth. Mm. Alrighty. So because this sandwich is divided in half, Mamiyo has a piece and I have a piece. Ooh. I mean, it's pretty expensive, but it tastes good. It's a real crap. Once you get into it, you see those stringy bits of crab meat. Salty, and you really feel that cheese inside. It's also got mayo. Mm -hmm. I still feel like the price is a bit expensive, but I'm assuming it's because of the Dungeness crab, the quality of it. But prices aside, my favorite thing we ate is this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the onion rings. My first time having this, and it won't be the last. All right, let's try the coleslaw. Tastes like coleslaw? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm good with the coleslaw. I'm gonna focus on the onion ring. Mm, this blanket napkin came handy. But look at this. I got a bunch of crumbs on here. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Oh yeah, look at that. Good work. <laughs> Using the third piece of fish, Mamiyo is making a sandwich. She is grilling the pieces of bread. Oh, you put the onion ring in there too. And coleslaw. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Happy uh, New Year, Merry Christmas and all that jazz. Bye-bye. <laughs> Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles.